Hi guys, so yeah, the diff strikes back. So I managed two runs with it yesterday. We're back outdoors, we're on the grass track. So as you can see, we've got the ballistic buggy greens. Had to cut the fronts down, basically there was just a little bit too much steering. So taking the two outer rows and the inner row off there, that just helped get rid of uh, some of the steering because it was very uh, oversteery. Um, 450 weight oil up front, 350 in the rear. Uh, one change that I did make, as you can probably see, I've swapped the shocks to the back. Basically, it's just to allow the use of more adjustment on the back. So you can only use the outer ones if you have the, the shock all the way forward because it, it won't clear too much on there. Uh, it does shorten the wheelbase ever so slightly, but nothing major. But yeah, the issue that we have is that after two runs, you can hear that. I'm pretty sure I know exactly what that is and that the rear diff has gone um, as it did last time. So love-hate relationship with this car. It was really nice to drive. Um, loved it. Um, we were winning or we were up in the uh the lead in the qualifying but sadly we only managed two runs so i didn't get any running footage because i was going to film the final running but we didn't get there so i broke out the lunch box for the uh remainder of the races just to make sure that was all fine for these in for the endurance event that's coming soon but um yeah the only other issue i had um, it's probably just down to the amount it's hard to see, but the very inner lower shock mount, it basically had too much droop. And basically what would happen is that the drive shaft, it was on, it was mainly this side come out. So I don't know if you can see where it sits now. So the end of the drive shaft is just in there. It basically, it would come out if it was any, any, any lower down. But it seemed to have enough droop. Um, it, I was expecting it to be a little bit more rough and bumpy on the track, but it was all right. But yeah, absolutely great car to drive for the two races. It literally went at the very end of, of the second race. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to tear the rear diff out, have a look, just confirm my suspicions as to what it is. And then my solution is I'm just going to put a gear diff in the back because it's metal. It's not going to die, and then I can drive this a lot more and not have to worry about the diff going. So I'll tear it apart, and then we'll jump back in, and we'll have a look what damage is. Right, so, yep, as I expected. So it's basically just stripped all that off again. Don't know if it's, oops, get some light on. So you can see it's just taking all the teeth off. Um, ideally, this wants to be a lot stronger plastic. I mean, it doesn't feel bad. But yeah, the main issue is that there are that. That contact patch is 3.7 so 3.7 so your counter gear you can see in there that's a, a nice metal one obviously you can't really make these out of metal I don't think I'm no expert but you've got all that tooth that it doesn't actually engage on so if it engaged on all that it would probably be a lot better but yeah this is uh, diff number two dead, so I'll be getting a gear diff in it because other than that, the car is absolutely great to drive. Absolutely love it. So we are potentially racing next weekend. I don't know. Weather's not looking too good at the moment. One of the joys of living up in the Lake District. Obviously, the name is a bit of a clue as to the weather we get. But yeah. That's it, so 
the last time a lot of people commented saying that I didn't have any grease on it. Um, I used the Speedworks non-fling grease. Um, so this time when I've put this, so this was originally the front diff, put this in the back. I've used the, I think it's the FET grease it's called, that comes with it. And still the same. Slipper was set so that it had a little bit of slip. But you can't have too much slip. Because otherwise you're not going to get any drive. You're not going to be able to brake. Um, and this was on grass as well. So yeah, my love-hate relationship continues with this car. But uh, yeah, biggest weakness if you're running... If you're going to be running it hard anyway. I mean, I don't know if you're going to have this issue with any other mortars. Obviously, I've got a, a ten and a half in this. But, uh, yeah, so... We'll keep this as a spare because it can always go in the front because your belt runs on that part there. So we've always got a spare. But I'll be putting a gear one in the back. Not ideal because I don't really like gear diffs. They're not, they're not the best for... The tracks I run on on, on off-road because you want the ball diff because it's slippery. But, uh, yeah, if we get that up. All oh, the grease is... So this is the FET grease. So I'll have to give this a good clean out because obviously there's going to be chunks of plastic and all sorts in there. So I shall get this all cleaned up. Um, and I'll have to have a look. I think I've priced up the gear diff. It was about sort of 50, 60 quid for everything. So it's going to have to wait a while because uh, I've uh, put my money elsewhere. If you saw my last video on the Dynastorm, um, that is just swallowing all of my spare money at the moment. So we will have this back up and running. We will have it, some running footage. Um, it just depends on how quick the parts arrive if we race next weekend. If we don't, two weeks time, we'll have a back on track. But that's it for now. Not really a lot else to show or tell you, so take care, guys, and we'll see you soon.